Hi guys, welcome to my channel again. So this video is to show you how to auto-generate e-certificate and email to the participant after the web miner or the seminar. So the email will look like something like this. And then they will automatically attach together with the email and then they will change the participant name here. Okay, so according to the coding that we set. Let's go to the Google Drive. We are using the Google Slide and Google Spreadsheet for this. Okay, so we need to create the certificate. So let's say this is the example certificate. And then you need to put the coding, the tag here for the software the code to read the coding and then to change the participant name. Okay, so this is how it looks like the certificate. So we prepare the template. Then we go to a form. Okay, let's say we have a form like normal registration. Okay, this is how it looks like and then we have a full name that we'll put in the certificate and then what is the content and then the email. The email is important because we need the email to send to the participant. Okay, let's say we I use as a user. Okay, let's say key in my email, then my name, then what is the date you need to attend, then press submit. Okay, after you submit Automatic, our the organizer will receive your information, and then here is your detail, and then we just click on the spreadsheet. Okay, create a spreadsheet. Let's say you create a spreadsheet, then you automatic link up. Okay, so here is your detail. Okay, so you can see your time that you register, email, and your full name. Once this is done, okay, you can go and here to check your. Special is here actually the response. Okay, then okay. So next we will go to like click on the add-on. So you launch it. Okay. Click on the launch. Okay, wait for a while. So this is how autocraft looks like, and then yeah. So at the first you don't have the any job right, so. You need to create a job for them to understand what they need to do. So let's say your job is like uh, e-certificate. Then next. Okay, so you need to find a template. Like our template is in our uh, Google Drive, right? So we go to our template, we choose the participant template because the name of this is participant template. Okay, then we choose this and then we select. Okay, they are flashing. Okay, then next. Okay, here they will automatically read the tag that we put into the template just now. Okay, so we have this and then we choose. So, which one is mapped to the column? Okay, so this one is like the full name in the certificate. Yeah, because the full name will keep changing and then to put into the certificate here. Next, we will put like next. Okay, let's say. What is the file name? So your after you create, you send to the participant, right? What is your e-certificate file name? So the, the file name will be like the the participant name will be much better. Okay, so we just put like the tag full name. So we choose to use the same one. We need to have the name as a piece and as a certificate. That's why we go and save first. Okay, then we close. Yeah, we need to have the name of the column. Copy it. And then run back the autocraft. Then next. Okay, so we put the full name. Okay, so this one is the full name when the file print out. So and then we what we want is PDF and then multiple output because we need to send to different participants. So next, so where you want to locate your e certificate that you can keep is like you choose a folder. Let's say you keep in the web binder. Just keep it here. So next, and then this one is optional. This one is condition, we just leave it. And then, yeah, you want to share and email, send the email as PDF, yes. And then 
interpret yes and then no okay here you can use like the email from the participant so you just put like email address exactly same as the column here then subject yeah we can type like y s web finder participant participation e certificate okay so and then what is the name that we want is like we can put like dear okay and then we can put like the participant name So then, type for here. Here should be used the full name. I think my mistake here. The full name of the in the certificate. Then we press next. Okay, run or trigger. So this one you need to like after the event you click it manually and then only you send to the participant, right? So this one is like automatic to when the people key in your form and they automatic email the certificate. So we don't bother about this. We just save it. Then you just press run. So when they're running the job, right? So they, you can see that like, they merge, merge it in sequence. Once done, then yeah, here is go. Okay. Then when you want to after the event, right? You want to send to all the participant here. Okay. All the participant. So you just press the here the run the job. When you press the run the job, they will automatically generate and send the email okay so let's see how it looks like it's like when you press it so let's say after the event you have a lot of name here and you just press the cache and then run okay so we have an email now let's go back and then we can check it okay, this is the form so this is how it looks like you receive the email and then they will automatically read the name from the web miner from the form the spreadsheet here you can see uh, the name on the one and then yeah this is just now what we type and then we can press it this is the certificate that we create oh. so this is how it looks like it is when they send to the participant you can go back to your google drive and then you can check actually uh, is it the a backup the e certificate let's check yeah the e certificate here so this is just now where we locate our e certificate. So you can keep all the participant certificates as well. So okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. So remember to subscribe my channel here.